Hi everyone. So this Hunter Stasis build has been around for a good long while now, but I figured I'd want to try to put out a new video on it considering the recent mod changes in Lightfall. So this build uses the exotic arms, renewal grasps for the Hunter along with the exotic The Lament for your weapon to create a build that easily allows you to solo all endgame activities such as trying to solo dungeons or farming out legend or master lost sectors. Using this build you can survive easily in close quarter encounters as this build does involve you being close up to enemies and not very far away from them. And using the correct combos along with timing your grenades, you can almost always have a grenade ready to use to keep yourself safe against enemies. So without wasting any more time, let's see what makes this build work. So starting off, it's important to know exactly what does the Renewal Graph's exotic arm piece actually do. So reading the exotic perk, your dusk field grenades have a much larger effect radius. Allies inside the dusk field grenade take reduced damage and targets inside the area deal reduced damage. Now the whole reason behind reading that is that that goes into what weapons you might want to choose for your build. Considering the renewal grasps require you to be in somewhat close ranges with all combatants, there isn't really going to be a way to use rocket launchers or grenade launchers, so I elected to use the Lament Sword. There are a few other good weapons like the new exotic glaive that you could use, but I think the Lament works the best for when you're close up on enemies. I'm also combining it with a weapon that has Demolitionist on it, where getting kills with that weapon gives me a grenade energy back. You can use whatever special or kinetic weapons you want to use, but if you want to elect for a Demolitionist weapon, you'll get grenades back slightly faster. Going into our Stasis Super, I'm using obviously the Dusk Field Grenades, a grenade that shatters on impact, leaving behind a field that slows targets and freezes those who do not leave the volume. Any enemy inside your Dusk Field Grenade will freeze probably after 2-3 to three seconds. For Aspects, I'm using Touch of winter, specifically for your dusk field grenades, increases slow field size and creates a small stasis crystal on impact. The other stasis aspect I'm using is grim harvest, defeating slowed or frozen combatants creates stasis shards. These shards grant melee energy when picked up by you and your allies. This will give you plenty of melee energy back that slows enemies, and if you hit an enemy twice, then you freeze them. For the fragments, the best part about the super is the amount of fragments that you can use. My first fragment is Whisper of Chains. While you are near frozen targets or a friendly stasis crystal, you take reduced damage from targets. Considering you're going to be inside your dust field grenade, slowing enemies and freezing them, when you kill the enemies, they'll drop a stasis crystal for you. You'll have that extra benefit of reduced damage. Another fragment I'm using is Whisper of Rhyme. Collecting a stasis shard grants a small amount of overshield, which falls off after 10 seconds. Collecting additional shards adds to the overshield and refreshes the timer. This gives you that overshield that sometimes can help you survive and gives you that extra damage resistance when you need it in harder activities. Another fragment I'm using is Whisper of Shards. Shattering a stasis crystal temporarily boosts your grenade recharge rate. This works specifically with this aspect that spawns a stasis crystal when you throw your grenade. So you'll throw your grenade, shoot the stasis crystal, crystal inside of it, and using this fragment you'll gain some bonus grenade recharge rate. Another stasis fragment is Whisper of Rending. Primary ammo weapons do increase damage to stasis crystals and frozen targets. This just allows you to immediately shatter the stasis crystal after throwing your grenade, and gains that bonus boost to grenade recharge rate. The last fragment I'm using is Whisper Endurance. Slow from your abilities last longer. For those abilities that linger, their duration will also increase. This one should just help you in case a ton of enemies are inside your dust field grenade so that they don't unfreeze too quickly and keep hitting you. Moving on to my armor. On my helmet, I'm using an Arc Siphon mod for my Arc weapon. You can use whatever siphon mod you want to use based on the weapon you're using. I'm also combining it with a special ammo finder. Once again, you can replace this with whatever mod you want here. It doesn't really matter for your helmet. On my renewal grasps, I'm combining two impact induction mods. Causing damage with a melee attack reduces your grenade cooldown. Now keep in mind, when you're killing enemies and they drop the small stasis shards, that gives you melee energy back. Along with getting your dodge also gives you your melee back. So, so long as you're constantly spamming your melee ability, causing damage with it, you'll get your grenade much quicker. I'm also using a grenade kickstart mod. When your grenade energy is fully expended, you gain grenade energy. On my chest piece, I'm running three damage resistance mods in my choice. You can switch them out for whatever resistance mods you want. On my legs, I'm running two Innervation mods. Reduces grenade cooldown each time Pikmin orb of power. This build evolves around having a grenade ready and throwing it as much as you can, so stacking these should help you get it back much quicker. I'm also running a Solar Weapon Surge for my sword to do increased damage to champions. On my cloak, I'm running two Bomber mods. Reduces grenade cooldown when using your class ability. This is pretty self-explanatory, you just want to get your grenade back much quicker as always. I'm also running a Reaper mod. After using your class ability, your next weapon final blow spawns your orb of power. So, that's the Hunter Stasis build for Lightfall. Let me know down in the comments below what changes you think I should make to this build to make it any better, or what you think you're going to run with this build. Thanks and have a good day.